the Sharingan, and more specifically, the Mangekyo Sharingan makes its first appearance in chapter 142 of the Naruto manga by Itachi Uchiha. These eyes are known to many as one of the most powerful ocular abilities present in the Naruto universe. Eyes that are possessed only by the Uchiha clan themselves, Kakashi Hatake, and Danzo Shimura. To activate the regular Sharingan, it requires an extreme influx of emotion in relation to a loved one. The brain then releases a special chakra that hits the optical nerves and transforms the eye into the Sharingan. The Sharingan has the same pattern and base abilities for every single Uchiha, the three Tomo, and the ability to see chakra, mimic jutsu, and increase perceptive abilities. The Mangekyo Sharingan is also known as the Kaleidoscope Eye. It is an evolved form of the regular Sharingan. The term Kaleidoscope means an ever-changing pattern, and this is present in the fact that each Mangekyo Sharingan shape and ability is different, depending on the user. Kamui, Obito Uchiha's space-time ninjutsu, Tsukuyomi, Itachi's illusionary genjutsu, Amaterasu, Itachi and Sasuke's unextinguishable black flame, and Komo Matsukami, Shisui's hypnosis jutsu. In order to activate the Mangekyo Sharingan, the user must experience a traumatic event in relation to a loved one. The Mangekyo Sharingan does drain a large amount of chakra in the user, and when overusage occurs, the Mangekyo Sharingan will eventually blind the individual. The only way to overcome this is to take a clan member who already has a Mangekyo's eyes, and transplant them in the place of your own. As stated by the second Hokage, Tobirama Senju, in chapter 619, the Uchiha clan is the clan that feels the most love. When they lose someone they deeply care about, unique chakra flows into the brain of an Uchiha and impacts the optical nerves, creating the Sharingan. The Sharingan mirrors the individual's feelings of despair and anguish, thus calling it a mirror wheel. The more they experience, or the worse the tragedy, the stronger they become. The Mangekyo Sharingan almost forces the individual to delve down a path of darkness. The more power they receive and use, that love that they've lost turns into anger and hatred for the world around them, and they use their Sharingan as fuel for that hatred. They use their abilities to unleash this detestation for an individual or a group of people on the world. Through that hatred stems stubbornness and an unwavering goal. Uchiha, the clan that feels the most love, yet exhibits the most hatred. The curse of hatred's origins begin with Black Zetsu, who was the physical manifestation of Kaguya Utsutsuki, the mother of Chakra's will. Kaguya had a son, Hagoromo, who would eventually become the Sage of Six Paths. When it was time for Hagoromo to choose a successor between his two sons, Ashura and Indra, he chose Ashura, who believed peace could be attained by love and friendship, opposing his brother's ideals of independence and achieving peace through power and one's own ability. Ashura and Indra would eventually be reincarnated as Hashirama Senju and Madara Uchiha, followed by Naruto Uzumaki and Sasuke Uchiha. When Ashura was chosen, Black Zetsu constantly tempted Indra, baiting him and angering him. With this, Indra then declared war on his brother. This battle would pass on through generations, eventually becoming the Uchiha versus the Senju. Madara Uchiha ranks as the ultimate proof of this curse. He felt a tremendous amount of love for his brother Izuna. Izuna was fatally wounded in front of his eyes by Tobirama Senju. Madara unlocked his Mangekyo, and his dying brother gave him his own eyes as a last gift and thus granted him the eternal Mangekyo Sharingan. And with this, his hatred for the Senju and the Will of Fire came to fruition. This hatred transitioned into a desire to transform the world and humanity, and Madara would sacrifice everything he had in order to see these plans come true. The one flaw I would like to point out is the gaining of strength as an Uchiha. The Mangekyo Sharingan can only be achieved as we know by witnessing or experiencing a traumatic event. Obito witnessed Rin's death at the hands of Kakashi, Sasuke obtained his after he killed his own brother, and Itachi's was activated upon the death of Shisui Uchiha, his best friend. This is a flaw in the Naruto universe because hard work, work ethic is a staple of becoming a strong shinobi. Essentially, if you work hard enough, you can reach your full potential. This is evident in the cases of Rock Lee, Might Guy, in unlocking the Eight Gates, and being strong shinobi despite their lack of ninjutsu. Even Naruto, Though he does have the nine tail inside of him, he has still had to work tremendously hard in order to master the Rasengan, Sage Mode, and the Kyuubi Mode as well. As an example, for a Hyuga to reach their full potential, it would be mastering high level techniques such as the 8 Trigram 64 Palm, or mastering the Air Palm techniques. For a Medical Nin, it would be mastering the Creation Rebirth technique, to then master the Forbidden Strength of 100 Jutsu. These are all abilities and techniques that require hard work. 
And by this logic, for an Uchiha to reach their full potential, it ends by evolving the Sharingan up into its final form, the Eternal Mangekyo Sharingan. With this said, I introduce this theoretical scenario. If I were born in Uchiha and I had a seemingly normal life, I joined the academy, become a shinobi, but my goal, my one goal in life, was to be the strongest shinobi I could possibly be. I could train and master all the non-Sharingan jutsus, somehow gain and master my regular three tomo Sharingan, followed by the nature transformations, and train my taijutsu to its limits, and yes, I would still be a really good shinobi, but I have not reached my ceiling yet. In order for me to reach my potential, I must activate my eternal Mangekyo Sharingan. Now I have to find a way to activate it. The most plausible choice is to wait and maybe I'll experience a traumatic event since I'm a shinobi, but it's possible that nothing will happen. But I can accelerate this process. And let's say I kill my best friend. Great, I have a Mangekyo Sharingan, but my quest hasn't been fulfilled yet. Because now I own a pair of very powerful eyes that if I overuse, it'll blind me. But if I take a clan member as Mangekyo, I can evolve my ability to the eternal Mangekyo. But if I choose this path, I get stronger and I fulfill a portion of my goal. But I continue to move down that path of darkness and increasingly it gets harder to return. Again, I could attack a clan member, but this could pit families and individuals against each other and I may not come out of that situation alive. Again, a slippery slope, all because of a simple search for power. Now, all this to say is that the flaw of the Sharingan is that there are no alternative ways to obtain the later stages. And Uchiha cannot develop similarly to the other individuals in the Naruto universe just by working hard. The constant cycle of hatred is a curse that needs to be broken more frequently. Nonetheless, there are a number of Uchiha who have abided by the will of fire. Itachi in his efforts wiped out the entire Uchiha clan except for his brother to protect the leaf. Kagami Uchiha, who had great loyalty to the leaf and is one of the few Uchiha who Tobirama Senju trusted. Shisui, a descendant of Kagami, who also had great loyalty to the leaf and was ready to use his genjutsu to stop the Uchiha. And Obito, who resuscitated his will of fire shortly before sacrificing himself for the sake of the planet after his stint with the curse. And lastly Sasuke, who accepted the will of fire after succumbing to the curse of hatred on an extreme level. He decided to wander the world with a new outlook on life, as atonement for his wrongdoings. The only Uchiha left to inquire about is Sarada. I wonder how or even if she will activate her Mangekyo Sharingan. Maybe there's a different type of Sharingan that activates with different emotions. Or we can see Sarada evolve her eyes with the will of fire. But we'll just have to wait and see.